Hello everyone. So Wix has released this article, Troubleshooting Content Collection Issues. Uh, we're going to find here information on some troubleshootings related to the most common issues that their users are having. So it's pretty, pretty simple. I really, really enjoyed it. And then it, uh, like it solved for me, like let's say 8% of the issues that I would have. And if you follow them all like one by one, you might get the, the issue that you have solved. So it's worth checking it before trying anything else. And I'm gonna show you how you can check it. So the first step here is check your page element connections. So what they mean is, let's say I'm here on my page. And then if you are having problems like submitting a form that's connected to the data set, you need to make sure that all the items or the user input elements are properly connected. As you can see here, this element is not connected to my database, so I have to click on it and connect it to the field that I want on my database and do this to, to all the items that I have. So this one I'm going to set category, this one I'm going to set as product description, and then so on. This one is a blog button, and then you need to link it to a image or a document field and a submit button of course if everything is connected and your form is still not working make sure like you have the settings of the user input here if it's required so it means that the person has to fill out before they submit it and then yeah so those are the basic things to check on the first step and just one more thing let's say if you are displaying content again make sure all the elements are properly connected Okay, so note that this is a repeater. So we have the outside box, the big repeater, and then we have the containers. All of them has to be connected to the same data set. For example, the, the repeater is connected to the stores data set. But if I click on the image, I need to make sure the image is also connected to the same one, otherwise it might not work. And so if you follow this, so we have done the first step. So the second step is check your content collection permissions. So here is where we check if the person will have the permissions to submit a form or to see the content that you want to display. So you just click on the data set, manage permissions or manage content. And then when it loads, you click on the three dots here and then you see manage permissions. They are, Wix is always updating their services, so the product. So make sure that maybe some change will appear on the, the way you visualize this. But the idea should be something similar, but you can always, fi always find an article with some steps. So manage permissions, and then you can see here. So I am on that page that I have a repeater, so who can read? I want everyone to read it, so anyone can read. Like who can create? Like I'm not allowing anyone to input anything, it's not a form, so I can just keep myself, who can update and who can delete just myself, okay? And then if I go to my form, let's say here, it's the one I created. I want to allow everyone to submit, so I click on the data set, manage content, and let's have a look here in the permissions. So click on the three dots, manage permissions, and then see who can create content, only myself, so I have to change it for a site member or anyone. I'm going to allow anyone, so mean that anyone comes to my site, they will be able to submit a form. And then now this form should work. So sec second step, done. So sync your sandbox and live content. Normally, the problem with syncing sandbox and live content is when you want to display it. For example, this page, I'm displaying content. And then in some cases, like just click on the data set, manage content, you, we have like two types of database. The sandbox, the one that you can play with, and then you can like make mistakes, and you can add things and delete it. So see here, I have nine items. And then I can click here on the top, sandbox and go to live. Let's see how many items I have here. Okay, so I have nine items, meaning that everything is synced. If I have like a difference between them and discrepancy, I would try to sync them. So you can sync from live to sandbox and sandbox to live. So if you wanna sync live to sandbox, go to the live database, sync live to sandbox, choose how many or which one is specific and just sync. Or you can just come to sandbox and sync from sandbox to live, done simple as it is and then if they are the amount of ads that are similar mean that should be but always try to make sure you are keeping them always synced and let's see the fourth step is check your data set mode 
So if I have a form, like in this page here, data form, I want to allow people to write things here and send it to me, send it to my, to my database. So this data set here, if I click in settings, it has to be write only, makes sense. Like I want to just allow people to write things here. And then they will write, submit, done, saved. But if I have, if I want to display, for example, in this page that I'm displaying, I shouldn't say write only, but in this case, I should say read only. See, because I just want people to come here and read what I have on my database. Cool, clear. And next step, check your browser settings. So browser settings, you always just go, here you have these steps and how to check. You, you can just follow it, like if it's Chrome, Safari, Mozilla, Firefox, Edge, Internet Explorer 11, and so on. Cool. So if you have questions, please just leave your message below. Again, Wix might change like some designs of the site or how some things look like on your end. If you it's not matching with the video, just leave a message here, and if I can help, I'm going to definitely do that. So see you next time.